Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are going to complete or continue our revision for the AL, the OL curriculum, but this time it's going to be with the exams. Uh, you have to know that the next or the following uh, exam, which is trial exam, is going to be on 5th April. Let's have similar exams to know how we answer these exams. Let's start. In the first question, we have MCQ question, which is uh, or it is consists of 16 uh, question uh, eight of them are for the grammar and the other half are for the vocal let's start directly to bracket them number one my father had a or an space operation to save his sight so and the words are argument emergency evacuation or fact so something is necessary to be done which is or uh, we can say immediately so exactly emergency number two on hearing the alarm the building should be space to save people from dangers so what should we do with the building or what should we do with the people to save them from the danger exactly evacuated what does it mean the word evacuated to make it uh, 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 empty and to let the people all the people in the building outside it okay number three i can find my destination by space your journey to it using GPS. So, is it controlling, noticing, or navigating, relaxing? Exactly, letter C, which is navigating. Number four, this is my new laptop. Are you space with it? Familiar, useful, cultural, stressful? Exactly, familiar. The president has sent a message of a sympathy to relative of the space soldiers did kind usual wealthy exactly did number seven international travel can be rich and a space the adventure stressful rewarding practical and qualified so it deserves uh, or you can find in it yes exactly rewarding adventures or rewarding adventure number or the next one public places are becoming more accessible to people with a space to people with, with who with uh, uh, disabilities exactly the next one relax your stomach space uh, uh, then stretch again muscles achievements competitions ramps exactly relax your stomach muscles we can help you find out to uh, space to all your financial problems I need my financial problems to be solved so exactly we have to find a solution the next one if I space no money I would have to go to school on foot so look at this one now or from this question we start with the, the grammar questions so this is F and we know that we have zero conditional first conditional and the second one so how could how can we know which conditional is this one according to the other sentence so we have here would plus verb infinitive which is have do we have after it's another verb no we have only would and plus verb infinitive so what are we going to use here exactly this is for the second conditional exactly we need a past simple uh, uh, close with f if I space no money, I had had, have, having or had, exactly had. The next one, she asked me, space, I could help her with her hammer. This is a reported speech question, but before we start to the answers, we have to know or we have to divide which uh, 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 report speech is this one. Is it a statement or question? And if it was a question, what kind of question is this one? Is it WH questions or yes and no? Do we have here any WH articles? No. So it is a yes and no questions. She asked me whether, unless, that, for, exactly, we are gonna use, we are gonna use whether. Your hands, face, washed before eating. Is it, should be, should, would, shouldn't. Is it correct to choose? choose uh, is, it, is it correct to choose? Should with washed? Would with washed? Shouldn't with washed? No. 
Why? Because it's a modal verb but in the past. So your hands should be washed. Should be washed. So we are gonna choose here should be. The woman about space you uh, you took is very is very polite. Is it whose, who, whom, or that? So which which relative clothes are we gonna choose? Look at this. Look at the the words after the space here. You. Do we have here any verb to use who? No. After after you uh, after using whose we cannot use verb. We use noun uh, 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 something like that. Okay. So we are gonna choose here the woman about the woman about whose you took is very polite. Is very i'm sorry uh, not whose it's gonna to be who i'm sorry because uh, what is the difference between who and who who asking for the object and uh, who is asking for the subjects so is it whose whom uh, whose who whom or that so we're gonna use who exactly the next one ahmed space to hospital try uh, buy an ambulance yesterday so Ahmed is the subject or an object exactly Ahmed is an object so this is a passive sentence but in the past is it takes is taken was taken took so is taken and was took was was taken are for the passive sentences but is it for past no so what are we gonna use here was taken exactly the next one space seen the accident I reported the police so after or before or on <coughs> on or having so uh, uh, do we have here any subjects or does this sentence start with the subjects no we are gonna use the verb plus ing as noun so having seen the uh, the accident I reported the police Okay, uh, uh, this is the first question. Uh, it was MCQs, as we said before, eight for vocab and the other eight for the grammar. And what about the second questions? Exactly, fill in the spaces. Before you answer this question, you have to read it all, then try to think about the answers, but do not answer without reading all the passage. Okay, let's start. When you space interviews for a job, you space to know a lot about the company you are going to work in. The applicant space to be patient and helpful. He should avoid speaking in a bad way about his space previous manager. So let's start to solve it or to answer it. Number one, when you space interviews, when you what? You are so letter ATX or you space to know you space to know what you ought to know a lot about uh, the environment the uh, the uh, the company the you are going to work in the applicant space be patient it's an advice so should be patient and helpful he should avoid speaking in a bad way about space about space previous managers about his previous manager this is for question number two let's move to the other questions okay question three it's reading has uh, uh, one two three four mcqs questions and three open-ended one okay let's start read it together i'm gonna read it from my book okay rules are uh, of extreme importance to all of us some people get a good board or ob uh, objects to one role or another but no one can deny that life would be impossible without rules traffic rules are among the most important in modern life when you drive your car there are many rules to follow your car, ha uh, your car has to be in a good condition. You have to check the amount of petrol in your car 
otherwise it may stood adjust it may suddenly in the middle of the of a crowd of a crowd in the streets causing a lot of troubles it is really essential that you adjust the mirror to be sure that no one is parking behind you don't forget to measure the level of the oil in your engine and be sure the battery is working properly the tires should be checked before moving if you neglect that you will have to face the trouble uh, the trouble of changing the flat tire by yourself if you don't check your uh, wipes wipers you will you will be you will be sorry it might train suddenly and spoil your know, trip you have to check the brakes also or you will bang against the first tree in front of you don't forget fasten your seat belts or you will pay a fine after all these precautions uh, 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 do you still want to drive a car so let's move directly to the question question number one question number one says uh, what will happen if you don't fasten your seat belt is it a b c or d exactly it's gonna to be c your car will break down your car uh, your you you may be fine you may be where is it you may be you may pay a fine you can be saved number two uh, uh, a word a word from the past the passage that means give no or too little attention is forget neglect bang check exactly neglect number 10 the underlying word that refers to what checking the tires travel moving flat tire exactly it's gonna to be about checking the tires the next one the best title is uh, the best title for the passage is exactly yes is it extreme rules why people don't like rules the rules of life the importance of rules okay the importance of rules the open-ended questions do you think life will be possible without rules explain your answer so give me your answer our life is going to be easy without dangers uh, uh, if we don't have any rules I don't think so and this answer also up to you okay number two why should you check uh, why do you, why should you check the tires before driving exactly as we find in the passage because you will have to face the trouble of changing the tire by yourself okay the, the, the last one you should examine the brakes of the cars why also as we have here as you will bang against the first tree in front of you okay this is question number three let's move to the next one exactly the translation questions we have two types of translation translation uh, uh, translate from English into Arabic and the opposite and before we start write the 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 the, um, the the translation you should know something do not translate word by word do not translate word by word you have to understand the sentence first then express it in your own but do not go min asab al ashya min uh, we can say min asab no min asab read it all first min asab al ashya التي نقابلها الآن هي كيفية تربية أبناءنا على الأخلاق الكريمة في ظل هذا الكم الهائل من السلبيات والفساد الأخلاقي المنتشر في الأفلام والمسلسلات التلفزيونية. So are we going to answer like uh, we are going to answer like this? One of the most uh, that we meet nowadays how is how no do not translate it word by word. Try to understand the sentence and express it in easy way in your own. Like what? As I'm gonna to say now, one of the most difficult things that we see nowadays is how to bring up our children in good manners in this huge amount of negative things and moral corruption spread in films and 
television series. Okay, what about the English one? Most countries in the world now welcome tourists because of the money they bring in. Many countries make great efforts to encouraging tourism and many also depend on what they earn from it to keep their economy going. So, what if the answer is going to be about? ترحب معظم دول العالم هذه الأيام بالسياح بسبب الأموال التي ينفقونها وتبذل العديد من وتبذل العديد من الدول مجهودات عظيمة لتشجيع السياحة والكثير منها أيضا يعتمد على مكاسبها السياحية للنهوض باقتصادها. Okay, and this is for uh, this is the end for these two type of uh, uh, questions. And the last one, which is write an essay of about 150 words. Be aware, 150 words on the following. What is our topic? It is important to help neighbors. So this is our title. Let's see, I'm going to give you uh, uh, some points to help you in writing this passage. Look at it. It's important to help neighbors. This is the, to the title of the topic. Let's move to the other point. Now point number one, good neighbors actions support community a good neighbor looks out for others point two it's peaceful to live among neighbors that help and respect each other point number three to look and watch out for each other and their uh, properties the number number four you should help your neighbor because one day in the future your neighbor may return favor when you need in or you need it the most. The last one, it's a good to so socialize with your neighbors when you have a busy schedule to meet your friends. Okay, and this is the end for our session. Let's see you next session also with the exams. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, just message or send a message for me for the WhatsApp.